teaching during the pandemic for the past two years now, going on three years, it's been obviously very challenging. I've been incredibly impressed by my students in their ability to just adapt and understand when things don't go perfectly and understanding that I'm learning right there alongside them. I would say that my teaching style is um, just bringing my authentic self into the classroom. Uh, the more of my own interest and passion that I share with my students, the more that we can effectively build relationships. When I think about creating the ideal learning space, it really begins with um, making sure that students feel uh, safe and valued and respected and appreciated and just make sure that they're comfortable in expressing their own identity. I would say that feedback-based assessment has been something that has really changed the way that I approach teaching and my students approach learning. Uh, traditionally, the focus in the classroom has always been on grades and marks. It's not the best thing for student mental health or their learning when all they're doing is pursuing a number on a page. So when you, when you shift the focus to a more feedback-based approach and you de-emphasize the marks, uh, now students are taking your feedback to heart and they're using that to improve their learning and using that as a roadmap of how to improve instead of just seeing a number on a page and thinking that's the end of, of their learning when they achieve a certain percentage. The greatest gift that anyone had ever given me as a professional was to be nominated for the Prime Minister's Award. Knowing that my colleagues and my students felt that I was worthy of that recognition, it meant so much to me. There's no feeling like that, so it's a lot of work to do the nomination, but it will, it will change the life of an educator.